Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today I want to show off this amazing software uh, that lets you convert a single image into a set of PBR textures. So yeah, this is uh, it here and uh, you can download it by going to, uh, this is the website, uh, you can see how it functions here and I'm going to do a quick demonstration of how it works. So most of the times I find myself looking for textures when I want to quickly set up a scene, I go to textures.com and uh, search for something like, uh, uh, let's say, brick, but sometimes the textures you get are just a single image without any roughness map or normal map so this software allows you to just generate all of those maps from a single image say for example i pick this image here uh, i'm using a free account so i get a few credits to download uh, any image i want here so let me get this one here download that after downloading that i can also download this sm4 or shaper map uh software it's a small download i think about 45 mbs I can download it. There's also a pro version, but I'm just going to show you the features of the free one. They're enough for most people in work. So I already downloaded it here and uh, you can see what I have. So let me open up a new project here. New, don't save. Uh, all you have to do is just create on this and uh, select the image you want to uh, use. I'm just going to grab, yeah, I'm just going to grab the image I just downloaded and uh, drag and drop it in here and you can see everything is set up and we already have something built and you can see with, with just a single drag and drop everything has been uh, done for me and uh, I can already see the detail the normal detail in there and uh, yeah so you can try out different things so for example uh, there is this option of uh, you can have different uh, objects to play around with so uh, if I wanted to test out uh, different settings for this I can just uh, hit a two or three to have a third uh, spinning thing here and uh, you also have a set of different materials here so this mater the first material is the one that is being applied here so if I want to check out how the uh, different variations of other settings I can just drag and drop this second material yeah you can see that uh, the second one has got some displacement uh, as you can see it's it's really looking great I think and uh, this one only has the bump or normal detail and uh, so uh, if I wanted to tweak this you can see every time I click on any of this I get a different selection let's try dragging this third one to see yeah this one has a parallax and you can check the type by just uh, looking at the type here if I select this one you can see this one is using displacement and uh, this one is using uh, the standard so you can play around with the different settings so I can increase the displacement a bit uh, to see how that would look I can play with the shininess uh, that's usually the roughness so like that and even zoom in by just using my middle mouse wheel you can see how good this looks I, uh, maybe the displacement is a bit too much I can just uh, bring it down a bit like that and uh, yeah, uh, you, if I look at this one, this one is using Parallax. Unfortunately, Blender doesn't uh, support Parallax. But uh, you, you have uh, these three options. But if you click on the uh, shader area here in this panel here, you, you get a few other options uh, that are limited to uh, pros. You have uh, a PBR version, which you can uh, just select. It will ask you for the different maps you have. To, to, to use you have the albedo and normal roughness and uh, they are all the same maps that are we, that have been generated here so if you want to test that out uh, before I do that actually I need to first create another instance of this so by just clicking on this so we have a fourth one here I'm going to focus on that and uh, drag this and drop it onto this you can still export the texture so for example maybe let me show you that just click on the save button I uh, select where you want to save them and hit save other will be saved as you want you have the displacement map have an option to save that roughness map and the normal map can also be saved so yeah I was showing you how the PBR version works so you just click on this double click and uh, then you can select uh, click on the M to access the the albedo and uh, then the normal map just going to use this specular for the roughness here and uh, we don't have this is not a metal so I want to use any metal I think I can use this as the I mean occlusion and I hit OK and I can see I get all these details so I can play with the roughness scale to make this a bit rough uh, the metalness should be all the way down and I can play with the ambient occlusion as well yeah so you can see the difference I definitely like this uh, displacement more so let's see how this would look in blender so i'm just going to export this out uh this is the displacement just going to make sure that uh, um let me just create a new folder 
for these maps i'll call this uh, sm4 so you can see we have our displacement i can save the normal map from there everything else is uh, standard i just jump into blender uh, let's just use a, a cylinder just add a few subdivisions and start setting up a pbr set just going to go in here and just drag this would be our displacement so i would uh, connect that into the displacement displacement mode and then displacement uh, you can see we already having some detail uh, then I can have uh, the normal connected to a, a normal map. This is non-color data. We also have, I think this was the specular, this was the ambient occlusion. So I can just blend this with this, make sure that uh, the ambient occlusion is at the bottom here. And uh, the, the blending mode is set to multiply. Now we can control how dark uh, now if you want some displacement actual geometry displacement we just have to go to the material settings and uh, under displacement surface displacement we can turn on either use displacement only or bumps and displacement and uh, we should get a good amount of detail of, out of this if you want a displacement to work in EV uh, then you would have to use a displacement modifier above uh, this and uh, then just create a new texture uh, the image should be the new the displacement map the coordinate should be uv and you can see what we get just have this above the subdivisions and uh, we do need to reduce the strength a bit on topic of texturing don't try to figure out everything by yourself it's going to take you a lot of time and uh, it's going to overwhelm you watch a few courses from professionals like creative shrimp he has a procedural masterclass teaching you all the basics and advanced ways of creating procedural materials in blender it's going to really speed up your progress and uh, make blend working in blender more enjoyable if you already know what you're doing then you probably know you shouldn't also be creating everything from scratch uh, there are a lot of other resources you can take advantage of that we are created by other artists like cloudscape this is a collection of volumetric clouds that you can use in your projects it takes a lot of time to, to create volumetric clouds that look as good as these i think you can see they work in both in ev and cycles don't waste time creating everything from scratch when you can use already made assets in your projects uh, it will save you a lot of time and a lot of headache thank you all links are going to be in the description